video to show you how we adjust the adjustable um, porta filter. So the first thing we need to do is loosen this. Usually these are only finger tight. So I'm gonna take this all the way off just so you know what's in it. And this is also referred to as a automatic porta filter because this spring and seat hold back pressure on this. Uh, so you'll see inside here, there's a little wire clip. You have to use a small um, flat blade screwdriver to get in here and pull this wire clip out. Okay, the um, filter screen will fall out, should fall out. Okay, and now that exposes the screwdriver slot. And what I recommend you could do is use a quarter and stick in here. And if you if it's too hard to turn, you can take it a um, adjustable wrench, crescent wrench. And now you can adjust this up and down. And now it's getting really loose because the the um, O-ring here's the O-ring here. I just go ahead and pop this off. There's the O-ring. Drops in the groove. So, to show you this out, that's your filter screen and then the, the keeper wire that goes in there. This can be a little bit of a, a trick to get this thing back in. So, we'll just go ahead and put this thing back together. So, if we're adjusting this to a pod, you're going to have to put this, the screen in. You don't need to put the wire in to be able to put a pot in there and, and put it in the crew pad and see you're, we're looking for a little bit of compression um, of the pod um, so, so we have compressed grounds. Um, if it's uh, not compressed enough, then we're gonna turn this counterclockwise, thus raising this platform. If it's compressing it too much, we're gonna turn it clockwise, thus lowering the platform. adjust it, make your adjustment. When you're done with that, the clip, again, this is where it gets a little bit tricky because you have to hold this clip down in this almost unseen notch. You may need to hold it. Use your screwdriver to get this, this clip back around. And make sure that the end of the wire actually pretty well disappears. I don't know if you can you zoom in on this. You can see the wire right here. This is where you're gonna stick your small screwdriver and pry that out. Okay, so once you've got your adjustment made, then all you have to do, take your spout, put the spring in, put your uh, uh, sealing surface back in, screw this in, and then when you tighten this up with a wrench, that will lock everything together thus locking up your adjustment.